Alright, uh, what's well, so up guys, we're back to another Grand Cross video. Now, if you are new, this is going to be a good video for you. If you've already been watching this channel, then I guess, well, uh, there's no point re-rolling because you probably already have your account. But it's for the new people because uh, the one-year anniversary is here and the homecoming event is bringing new people in. And you probably want to know how to re-roll and what to do. So, this is what today's video is about. So, firstly, starting, there is no fast way to actually to re-roll, um, like, deleting the files. You have to pretty much just go through all the tutorial again. But to be fair, it's not that bad. Uh, so I may jump cut between some things because I don't think I have to sit here throughout all of it. Uh, I've done a re-roll guide in the past. and uh, But now it's a little bit different because we have a different banner. And I'm going to tell you what to summon for and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, pretty much this... I think I already have everything installed. Uh, but right now, okay, no, I don't. So I have to download everything. It's going to be super annoying. But yeah, once you do download everything, you kind of find because, well... As soon as you re-roll for the first time, you literally just keep on deleting your data and you keep on logging in and pretty much you keep on re-rolling and uh, you know how you can pretty much just skip this part, right? So uh, once they start downloading, I'll uh, be back. Okay, so I kind of forgot this because I haven't done it in a while, but you can actually download the game and play the game at the same time. I believe this is the tutorial, which by the way, you don't have this skill in game, which is kind of sick. So uh, these are excuses characters for yet to get. Um, but yeah, this kind of plays for you to show you how the game does look and uh, it's uh, not too bad. Fun enough, Zara tries this character here. He got added like months afterwards. I right, bro, this seems kind of sick. You know, I kind of forgot how it looked when, when, uh, because it's been like a year since I've seen it pretty much. Okay, so if you're wondering why mine is a landscape, I am playing on the emulator right now, which, uh, you can just obviously force it in. Or if you are playing Android as well, you can force it with an app called Rotation Control. If you're on iOS, I'm not really too sure if you can do it. So, uh, yeah, big up for, uh, the Android users. Okay, so yeah, right now I'm just going to skip through everything once again. It kind of plays for you. And there we go. That's the first bit done. We should get to the tutorial part now. But uh, yeah, you can't skip this part. You just kind of have to watch for it. And so there we go. So you can watch the cutscene. But to be fair, you're re-rolling. You can skip through it. It's not that important. Okay, so now I'm downloading. So once it's done, I'll get back. Okay, so the download is done. Obviously, you have to do this one time if you are re-rolling. Because you can literally just keep on resetting your account. And basically just keep skipping this part, right? Uh, but it's kind of the long part. Now you're playing the actual game. And uh, you can't skip this. You have to play through all of it. A little bit annoying, but um, you just kind of go in. Start. You get the hang of where what buttons you press. Just skip this as well. And I, I think I can remember what to do. Okay, so this is the game. I just skipped the first part because it's kind of relevant. But this is the game. Uh, if you're new to it, it's, it's kind of a car game. Uh, you move and drag stuff around to get car upgrades. And there's boss fights. Not boss fights, but like, you know, animations. Pretty good. Honestly, this game actually looks amazing if you're the first time getting into it. Uh, this, this one's very simple the first time you're playing it. Um, you kind of just spam for everything. It tells you what to do. If it is your first time doing it, you will get the hang of some things. Uh, so, like, yeah, like right now, they tell you what to do. And then uh, you use cars. You kind of just remember what to do. Scram for it. It, it literally it plays it plays itself pretty much, right? That didn't that did one K. Wow, <laughs> a gold card deal one K nowadays is actually ever. This just doesn't happen. And there you go. That's pretty much the game. So I'm gonna jump cut this part uh, right now to use the ultimate. You kind of remember what to do. So you just click through it. And I think you skip it too. Yeah. See, I sort of remember what to do after a few months now. Barry, this looks stupid because it's not meant to be playing landscape. Okay, there we go. The first one's done. I think there's three or four of them. I'm not too sure. I can't remember how it works, but once again, you just kind of play for it. Oh, you do get the rewards now. Okay, that's. I guess that's kind of good. Uh, right now, we have a comeback bonus, right? Right. So um, it's kind of weird that you get that during the actual game. Okay, so skip this part. Okay, yeah, so there's three. So yeah, we do these three. And now we burst the tw God Twigger. Okay, so you can actually see the one already. Uh, can you bring him in? No, you can't. Okay, once again, you skip the animations. You click once, go top left. You can watch it, to be fair. They do follow the anime pretty well. So if you've somehow never watched Seven Days Sins, you can experience the whole story through the game, which is actually quite insane to think about because I don't think any other gacha game's done this. Like, you kind of get this from, like, Dragon Ball Kakarot, pretty much. Okay, so I'm pretty sure no matter what here, as long as you use your counter, it kills him. So, yeah, just spam cards. Yeah, they're kind of just demonstrating the animations here. They're trying to, get, trying to get you in. Okay, but I believe right now you should use your full counter. And then it works. Okay, playing the game mechanics. Not too bad. Okay, so right now, I believe I just used a counter, right? Okay, now it's going to reset one. So you click next to it. Yep, there it goes. And then now I can do what I want. Come on. There we go, the counter. That's the one you want to use. And then you can do whatever you want. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Just because the full counter kills. So that's why they kind of let you do what you want. 
and then watch him just die. Boom. Pretty easy. Okay, so that's actually taken out of the first episode. So if yeah, if you're not aware what the how the season runs, it's honestly it's not bad. Like actually now I'm thinking of this actually pretty sick. Okay, boom level two. Get the one diamond. You will get enough to do a multi at the start of the game. Uh, which is good because you kind of want to pull the one early on if you can. Maybe get like a festival unit. Just skip again. Okay, so now you're in the game. You still have to play again. I believe he goes through the tutorial of what to do here. There is a point where you quit out of the game if you want to. Uh, but I'll show you that when it happens. Very zoomed out here. This looks weird. Okay, so being you in the tavern. I think it takes like eight minutes to reroll here. I'm not too sure. Yeah, you kind of just remember what the press here. Go through, change her outfits. You will get more later on. Okay, you kind of spam through it here. There you go. You get your 30 damage. This is where you do one multi. You do get to get a free SSR at the start of the game. Uh, but now at one year later on in the game, these kind of relevant units. Although it would help to get one good unit here. Like, um, yeah, you have to do this, right? You have to do this. But you still get them 30 diamonds. So, I believe you get a guaranteed SSR here. The animation should be, um, okay, it's not the best. I'm going to skip, right? Uh, you can watch it if you want to. Uh, this just means guaranteed SSR. You, I don't think you can get more than one. Okay, we got R4. Is that good? Oh, wow. It's weird to see new, you know, on these ones. I, I need to look at the list of who you can pull. Okay, so I'm just going to do uh, Beats PH, I guess, for now. Or Beats, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't really matter who you get out of the first pull. Like, if anything, I guess you want to get, like, accounts medios because it's not hard to get. But, yeah, you get them so easy. Like, don't worry about the, the first character you get. So, boom, this is why it's sick. So, you get, what, 10 Mortys here? Which is just insane because you do get three characters. And arguably one of the best characters in the game. Uh, just for logging in on the second day. Oh, yeah. Okay, you get this too. So, it looks like you get a bunch of stuff. Uh, okay, these are freestyle Awakened ones. Okay, not not the greatest, to be fair. Uh, but you can see they get Gopher, which is what you get, I believe, after a few months of the game came out. But right now, I believe on the third or second day of just logging in with the tickets, you do get a free Gopher, which is just insane. So, you're going to get a 2-6 Gopher, and it ultimately does do quite a lot of damage, so it's not too bad. You do want to get him stooped out a bit to obviously make Super Waken a lot cheaper. If you don't know what that is, it's just uh, the, the Awakening System mechanic. Uh, so, there you go. You get 30 damage here, which is what we're going to be using the pull. But you're still in the tutorial, which is fine, because once we go into this next stage, once we skip for everything, you can quit out. So, you don't have to worry about playing through the whole story. Okay, so it does make you bring a friend here, right? Alpha's not the worst character to pull from. It's just not the best. I don't know. It, it, the, there's no right or wrong person to pull for. So don't worry about this one. Uh, you're more looking forward to the, the next pull we do. Where we get someone actually important. Because we could get the best character in the game pretty much. Okay, skip through this. Just kind of spam. Did we get a diamond? Okay, so right now we start. But then we quit out straight away. So we can skip the whole cutscenes. If, if you actually finish the mission, you're still locked into the actual tutorial. And you have to do even more stuff. Like go to the town. Do that, which is like super long. So right now we just forfeit the battle. You could quit the game if you want to. Um, depending how fast your internet is or like how quick you want to do it. But just do this. It's, it's fast enough. And now we can pull. So you have 30 damage you can see. So right now you obviously want to summon this one. It's the best banner right now. Uh, you have the highest percent chance for a festival. Uh, you only could do one pull. So it's going to be like kind of hard to get the ones you want. But if you get Escanor or if you get Mediodis or even Elizabeth to be fair. I'd say the, the main two will be Elizabeth or the one Escanor. The other two you want to go for like for the first pull. You want to try and get one of those two. And if you do you can stop if you want to. But I still recommend keep going all the way to 900. Because as you can see you can guarantee yourself one of them. So if you get Escanor. Uh, go all the way to 900, get yourself a Goddess Liz. She's the, you know, the next best character. Or if you get Goddess Liz, go all the way again to 900 and get the one. And then, um, if you get both of them on the way, uh, go for more deeps than Eskinok. He's just a better character. He's a DPS character, right? And, uh, maybe you get lucky enough. I think my first rotation, I did get, you know, Lost Vein. I did get King. So you have almost a chance for festivals, which is obviously, if you don't know, it's, uh, Eskinok, Lost Vein Medio is here. Goddess Liz and also Wing King. Wing King being the worst one. Uh, but these are these four characters are exclusive. They're very hard to get. They're only in festivals. And the next festival we are getting, they are not on the banner. So you want to make sure you get all of them here. But yeah, make sure you do get the one and also Elizabeth. Uh, so we're going to do one more here. Let's see who we get. The, funny enough, the first time I or the last time I did my actual reroll guide, I did get Lost Fiend straight away. And uh, just looking like a dead multi to be fair. So I'm just going to skip for the video. Dead. So yeah, right now we just reroll again. It's a dead multi. Uh, but which is, I guess it's kind of fine. We get, well, actually, no, should I do a single? I think we're enough for a single, right? We have one single. We do one single, see what we get. 
Okay, so I got ties list, yeah. Right now, there's a dead account, but but for the sake of it, imagine you did get something good, you did get the one. Uh, definitely keep playing through the story, do everything you can because the one will carry through it. Plus, this banner here. This is a free banner, as you can see, where you get level 80 ur characters the max characters you can get apart from super awakening which is insane this this guy will carry through the story uh right now hawk on the third day or second day you do get captain hawk which is a free to play unit and uh he does have a buff right now until uh what for a month uh so that's gonna be uh better for you level 80 straight away you can be using these two pretty sick um then on the fourth day you do get gold for which you did see after a month of logging and you do get him again but you only get a coin where this guy's gonna be level 86 star straight away he has the best card in the game. The rank ups are the best card in the game. And then you get King, which is going to be helpful for the Grey Demon. And you get Barn, which can be helpful for the Red Demon. But if you get the one, it's kind of fine. And then boom, on the actual last day, um, which is over two weeks, you do get the pick between these two. Oh, I guess these one. I would honestly recommend... Can I pull it? Okay. So yeah, unless... Don't pick the one you pull. Because uh, obviously you do you can pull these guys. And if you do get them, you do get the level 86 star straight away. Which is sick. Uh, so if you're wondering who to pick on the last day. Go towards Valentia to see. Um, because these, like, what's it? Elaine, all these, like, fillers below. They're all on every single banner pretty much most of the time. So you're going to get them You're gonna get them quite easy. Where Valentia's only on original character banners. And she's barely in them. So, uh, and she's going to be low rate. Well. So I think you should guarantee yourself a Valentia. If you do get her on the way, then uh, the next one would be... Jericho and then maybe Slater. And then Hauser. Jericho because she's kind of like the best unit here pretty much. Hauser for AoE farming. Slater for the Red Demon. Uh, Helper for the buffs. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you're going to get most of these characters. She's kind of the rare one to go for her. Uh, I just do a multi for the sake of it. Okay, let me skip to see if we get anyone new. Nope, we don't. So yeah, absolute dead account here. So right now, we obviously want to reroll. But you do see you get a Demon Eddie, which is just like, it's mad to think about because... uh. I spent, what, 600 diamonds for him? And you're getting him for free just for logging in for one day? So there we go. Let's say you didn't get the count you want, which I'm sure most of the time you won't. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually go to the menu, go to player info, and go to reset data. And once you reset data, it will take you back to the start. And you have to do the tutorial again, and you kind of just play through the whole story again. Kind of fast. It's not too long. Uh, you don't have to do the download again, so it's kind of nice. You don't have to like go into the actual like, data mine stuff and like delete your account. Uh, this does it for you. And then once you click reset, you're good to go and you can obviously start doing it. If you do have your account, obviously just sync data, set a password, uh, go into player info, you know, set your accounts and keep your account so you don't lose it. Uh, but then, yeah, if you have got your account, what you want to do right now is uh, make sure to check this because you do get some free characters here. Uh, for example, you get Escalon for just logging in pretty much, which is sick. Uh, you get the, the Merlin too, which is good association. Uh, you do get to do all of your channels pretty much for free. Um, it will take three days because you have to do this thing here, the Force Argus. And you do get yourself an Arthur who's broken in PvE. Uh, as you can see, a passive right here doesn't... It excludes PV, PvP and Deathmatch. So, um, yeah, this guy... Honestly, if you get the one, or even just this guy as well, like, and the D-Melly, just forget for logging in pretty much. It will clear you through the whole story. Uh, do all the events. Obviously, do all the good stuff here. And then play through story. Story... I believe there's over like 17 chapters now. 16 chapters. So you have a lot of damage to get through here. Uh, overall... It's a pretty fun game if you, you're you going to enjoy yourself. Uh, obviously, do save your diamonds and uh, I guess do one rotation and then start saving because uh, there are some better banners coming out in the future. If you're not up to date with JP, definitely follow this, this channel and other channels too that kind of talk about JP stuff because uh, that's where you're going to get most of the information from and who to summon for and all that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just reset your data. Boom. Okay. And you can see this happens and you go back to the beginning and you just kind of repeat the same process and uh, keep re-rolling until you get the Escanor. Uh, or Elizabeth, either one of those two, and then boom, you're done. Okay, so hopefully this did help out. Obviously, if you're a new player, this should be um, the best way to start now. If you are new and you're watching this in the future, uh, unlucky if there isn't a festival, but you missed your opportunity to start. This is the best time to start right now. You get free characters. You get arguably the best banner right now, too, with the highest percent chance for festival units. And obviously, the one that's going to be the hypest character in the game, pretty much. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long for you to get a good reroll account. Uh, funny, it took me one account on, on my last try. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace.